Okay. If you think Descartes' standard is a good standard, well, let's use it. Right? Let's use the standard of knowledge. So right now, you think you are sitting in your room or, or, or library, coffee shop, whatever, right? You think you're sitting down in front of your computer or your phone, one of those two things, uh, or your tablet, I suppose. <laughs> you think you're sitting in a room someplace somewhere uh, watching these videos, taking this uh, quiz for the course. Uh, you don't think you're in the Matrix. Okay? So the Matrix, some of you, probably a good number of you since the movie is darn near 20 years old at this point. Um, you, uh, you know, the Matrix is this you know, hypothetical scenario. It's the setting for a movie. Right? And in the Matrix, every last human being is plugged into a computer. Right? There's a jack in the back of their head. And all this, this, what this jack is doing is this feeding sensory input into your head. Right? It's interrupting all sensory information from your hands, your eyes, your mouth, all that, right? It's interrupting all that sensory information. It's instead feeding sensory information from a computer. And so your consciousness is living out, is living out life in a computer simulation. And the computer simulation, it, since it's feeding the sensory information, that's what you think exists. Is, you know, that's what you think is, is going on, right? You think you're sitting in the, in the world in a physical world watching a computer. But if you're in the matrix, right, you're plugged in and just in a scenario, just in a simulation. You're not actually in this world. Right? Uh, there are other of these, they're called uh, skeptical hypotheses. Right? And what a skeptical hypothesis is, is constructing some scenario that you know, would mean that your beliefs are radically false, but are but it's indiscernible from what's actually happening. So you know, here's another one, uh, Inception, right? This is another good one, Inception. You think you're watching me on a video, but really it's the Inception team that's going in and planting an idea in your head. Right? You're, the, you're dreaming all of this. Uh, um, and you, you, know, you can't tell the difference between the dream and what's really happening. And this is what happens in dreams, right? You don't, or at least it's highly rare, usually without training, you know, that to sit there and say, oh yeah, this is a dream. I mean, some people do that, but not everybody. If you were... Right, if you're hypnotized right now, you'd be told, "Okay, you're sitting in the room watching a video." Right, you'd believe it. You'd believe it. Uh, the Truman Show is another fun one. Another these a lot of these sci-fi movies have fun scenarios where you're not actually you're massively deluded and not actually living out in the world. So the Truman Show: um, a baby is sold to a TV network and raised on a TV studio, which looks like a neighborhood. And this guy just lives out his life and people and cameras are always pointed. I mean, he never knows, right? He thinks he's living in a neighborhood, but he's really a TV in a, in a TV show, right? Um, so, you know, all the people around you, you think they're just, you know, strangers or, or, you know, some of your friends, but really they're working for the TV studio and they're paid to act this way around you. <laughs> so you think that you are living out in this real world. Nobody here, nobody watching the video thinks that they're actually watching, actually in the Matrix or in the True Matrix or whatever. So you have some reason for that. You have some reason to believe that you're not in one of these skeptical hypotheses. What's that reason? What's that reason? Go ahead and write it down.